Welcome back. If Republicans do win a majority of the House this fall, the biggest consequence could be they get the power to issue subpoenas. The subpoena power led to the McCarthy era, to the Watergate hearings, and to the Clinton impeachment. The Republican who would be in charge of House investigations of the Obama administration is Darrell Issa, the congressman from California, and he makes no bones about it. If I am the chairman, I will have a subpoena pen, as the current chairman does. I will use it. And I will use it to get the very information that today the White House is either shredding or not producing. Well, there you have it. Among the investigations Republicans have on the front burner, any improper job offers to U.S. Congressman Joe Sestak to discourage him from challenging fellow Democrat Arlen Specter in Pennsylvania's Senate primary this spring. The Justice Department's decision to drop charges of possible voter intimidation by the new Black Panthers at a Philadelphia polling place on the day Barack Obama was elected president. And countrywide financials deals that got Washington to take on bad mortgages. Kelly, they have a menu. And they have Daryl Issa as ranking member. He'll be chairman if they win. They can issue subpoenas. They can do a lot of hearings. Well, he is doing so much dress rehearsal, if you will. One of the richest members of Congress. He has been very aggressive about this. Really, day in, day out, we are getting letters he's written, uh, kind of memos his, his team has crafted about things from Toyota to the other issues you mentioned. They're already doing it without the subpoena power. So their team would be so poised if things were to change and he were the chairman to do this. The night that Richard Nixon got reelected, he's sitting there in the middle of the night with Chuck Colson listening to Victory at Sea. He says, damn it, we've lost the subpoena power again. On the road to water again. He saw it coming. If the opposition party has the subpoena power, as the Republicans will have, this is business that Barack Obama may be, better be ready for. Oh, there's no question. And if they're smart over at the White House, the White House Counsel's Office is reading every okay. memo and every press release from Daryl so right now, getting all those brilliant young lawyers Is Eric Holder in there. Well, at the Justice Department, I think he should be because there'll be all kinds of questions about Justice Department policy. Two other things I'll mention. One is White House spending and travel spending and, and spending in general. Stimulus package, all the decisions on how the money was ladled out from the stimulus package will be under review from these people if they get that And of power. course it won't be personal against him. It will just be their oh, concern no. and, about and wasting money. And by the money. way, they, to go... <laughs> yeah, so, yes, right, exactly, exactly. Just to Nora, get to the you, truth. You've, you've, seen, you've covered the hell a lot. You know how oh, that yeah. works up there. If you can call witnesses into a hearing, you can put them under oath, you can cause trouble for the other side. Great Dan job. Burton used to chair this committee during the Clinton years, and he made the Clinton life hell. I mean, they had to deal with all kinds of stuff. It is a powerful position, this ability to issue uh, He did all subpoenas. the Vince Foster shooting at cantaloupes, all that crazy stuff up Absolutely, there. and it did lead to the impe impeachment stuff. It leads to this whole era of investigation in a White House mm -hmm. under siege. He will be an investigative pit bull, as you mentioned, not only spending, but also their response on the Gulf. Well, voters push back if they knew this was coming. It is an effective strategy, I think, on the Republican, I mean, on the Republican Party, if they, this is the direction they go. I mean, paralysis works well for them. I mean, bottling up the Obama administration, not allowing it to work yeah. functionally, gives them... But they don't want to legislate. They no, just they, want to investigate. They, they should talk, I don't think, though, that they should talk... The Republicans shouldn't talk about it too, too much. Right. It, it goes to a point that John made uh, before, which is that Daryl Issa giving the speech in Pennsylvania is one thing. If, if the Republicans make this their, their calling card for the whole election, then that leaves an opening for the Democrats to say that's all these guys want to do. They're not going to create jobs. They're going to do this. Yeah, and they have to be careful yeah, not to talk point. about when it too much. We come back. Scoops and predictions, rather than.